Hello there, this is Products Right, and I'm about to show you um, kind of a neat little place to farm for some plants and recipes and mods and whatnot. Uh, there might even be some magazines and bobblehead spawns, I've been told. Um, so let's just get right at it. Um, let's hit play and go to the adventure. You can also go to the private world, obviously, if you are a Fallout first member. But um, yeah, uh, requirements for this route, um, there actually like are none. Um, I would recommend level 15 at least, level 20 might do it a little easier, but you can actually like avoid all combat in this zone pretty much just by sneaking around. And it's uh, quite a short road and it's quite easy to memorize as well. I will show you right when we get at it. So, where we are, uh, in specific, um, is the top of the world. You can see it on the map on the right side. Uh, if you have just begun playing, you you would be over there on the world 76. But um, yeah, you would have to make your way all the way over here, kind of in the middle of the map, actually. Um, yeah, so top of the world. Just fast travel there, and you will end up in this spot. Somewhere in here, um, usually on the rock, I haven't ended up anywhere else. So from the rock, uh, look directly towards the top of the world, um, like the main building, and just run past the trees here. You are arriving at the shooting range. And just ignore that. If you're looking for weapons, and actually, uh, it seems like one. Uh, this has been the third time for me that uh, this table shows me a weapon mod, so. Yep. Pay attention to that. Take the mod. Then get rid of these. Scorched. Uh, as I said, you can. Sneak this whole thing if you don't want to fight at all. There are multiple enemies uh, on the house over there, so if you make a lot of noise, they will probably hear you. But when you arrive to the shooting range and walk past, uh, on the left you see this uh, weapons workbench. Uh, there you can actually see I got uh, another mod here. And this is totally randomized. This, these the same places can show you recipes and plans and mods. Uh, mods are the most common, for me at least. And the places may vary uh, each time you do your server hop or come back here. So yeah, that's one place. Uh, sometimes they are here and sometimes they are on the shelf and sometimes even there, I believe. So check out the place. Make sure you are not missing anything. And then when you're ready with this weapon workbench, you can head there on the other side. There is an armor workbench. And... We can see right here, we actually have a another mod. Let's take those and once again, check out every place, every corner. If you have anything, they, they are not like I have. I've never seen anything on the floor. So maybe don't check that if you have like time for that and you want to do that. Sure, by all means. But once you've checked, then just head out this way straight to the east run past there are gonna be some enemies here for some reason they are running away from me that's fine so before entering this um, kind of a fort uh, left side of this uh, are uh, it's, it's another armor workbench so yeah we actually happen to find some plants that I haven't learned yet, so that's good. There are pretty much always something in here as well. Head out, take left, then just run to the crossroad here and take another left. We are running towards the market, market district, and this is where I'm usually finding most of my um, mod spawns to happen, but as we've already 
got quite a few. I'm not sure if there are any left in here. Um, this place, the bottom shelf usually shows um, a food recipe. Make sure to check that. Doesn't seem to be anything here. The other side, usually here. Um, this time, none, it seems. So, carry on. Um, this is such a like tight spot, you can actually actually check all of these like as you walk past. There's usually a stale boy there as well, so if you want those for money or caps, uh, be sure to pick them up. There is a food recipe, and I'm gonna learn it. Then carry on. Ignore that. And these two little structures, usually the left one, um, this time no luck, but last time I run here um, I saw two mods, one in here and one in here. So yeah, these are totally random spawns, they don't happen all the time, but every time you server hop you actually have a chance to, uh, like they, they respawn and uh, they can be in different places. So this one is completely optional. This is if you are like level 15 as I said, as I recommended. Um, this little house here usually has some food plants at least, but there is an enemy inside and actually you can see a recipe, recipe in there as well. So yep, take a look inside. And look if you can see the other recipe. Um, I believe it was on the table last time I saw it. So no luck this time, but I would say this was a really successful run. Uh, oh yeah, and check this. Yeah, check this room as well. <laughs> Almost forgot there is a weapon workbench. So this place is filled with uh, workbenches and along them there are multiple mods, recipes and plants for your armor and whatnot. So if you're farming for plants, looking to get get that trapper armor set or pretty much anything early game, this is a very good place to run like back and forth. But of course instead of running back we can just teleport back to the top of the world. And uh, before we would go running again, you you definitely want to uh, perform a server hop, so press S, go social, click your profile and leave world. That would be the easiest, easiest way to quit the world, I've noticed, and then you just hit play and go on an adventure again. It will find you a new server and you can do the road all over again. Now. As a little disclaimer, uh, I've had runs um, with uh, like absolutely nothing, uh, nothing of value drop or, or spawn in the world, like one mod maybe, but like it, it can easily seem sometimes that it just hasn't reset itself, but that's not true. It's actually like if you are doing server hop correctly, like join, uh, leaving the world and joining another uh, you, sh it, they, they are reset, reset, but it's it's not 100% guaranteed you will get, uh, you will be granted these random spawns. So, um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you like learned the route by just watching this once, and you don't have to come over again and again. But um, I hope you all having a good time and. Uh, See you on the next video, wherever that might be. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and bye.